Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can add conditional elements to the email builder. What are conditional elements? Conditional elements are elements that you can add to the email builder that if, for example, somebody who sits in the US will only see that element and somebody who is in the UK will see a different element. This comes in really handy if you're an affiliate, for example, and you're promoting products of Amazon, let's say, and you have different affiliate links for different countries, right? Amazon.com has a different affiliate link for Amazon.co.uk or Amazon.ae or wherever you, your audience is situated. So let's say you have an audience mixed off many different countries, which you have figured out through different tracking when you collected data prior. You can now create one email campaign instead of multiple different ones, right? can say, hey, did you know about this new product on Amazon, for example? And then you can add an image, an element, for example, an image or a button and say, hey, only show this image with a hyperlink to the Amazon affiliate link to the UK. So this one particular image only will be seen by people situated in the UK. Below that, you can add the same image with different branding, for example, or different wording, or the button can be different tailored to the audience in the UK, in the US or in the UAE, for example, right? And this way you can then save a lot of time in not needing to recreate multiple different campaigns and your tracking is on point. And yeah, that's really the new feature. So let me show you how you can set this up. All right, first you want to navigate to marketing on the left, emails at the top, click campaigns, create a new campaign, click plus new or select an existing one. Awesome, this is our email content builder. You can just drag and drop any element you would like. Let's say we add another text and then also actually a button, okay? So you can hover over each element and you can, let's hover over this image, for example, and you can see here this new icon popping up, okay? So you can access the conditional element by clicking this button here. You can see on the left, it switches to the visibility tab, okay? So you can decide, do you want to show this element in all devices, on desktop only or on mobile only? And then here, this is a new feature, conditional sending. So switch this on. And as the subscription suggests, you can use this conditional send to personalize emails based on your contacts, custom field data, which you can select down here. Okay. So for example, to show a discount to contacts in the United States, you would select the country as in the United States right here, or even city, you can say New York, only people who are in New York will see this particular element if there is a event going on only in New York, for example, right? Or the same event at the same evening, just in different cities. So then you can uh, select the condition is, so if the city is, let's say New York, right? Then only the New York people will see this particular image. That makes sense. Please note under value only single line, text-based custom fields, number input, radio selects, and single select dropdowns are supported. Now let's try the same thing for the button. So you can see, you can hover over the button. You can see this little conditional element icon popping up. Or as I said earlier, you can click on visibility top left, and then you have the same menu right here. Turn on conditional sending, select the custom field. So let's say you're sending this campaign to multiple different companies, but they all need to see different content or different buttons, which lead to different URLs, for example, right? You can say company name here, company name is or is not, let's say is in this case, let's say Amazon, right? And then you would hit save top right corner. And then this button would only be visible to people who work on Amazon if you've saved it under their contact details, of course. Then you want to duplicate this, for example, select visibility, turn on conditional sending. Let's say company name is Google. Okay. So then only the Google people will see this second button right here. Hope that makes sense. I hope you like this new feature, which will help you to show you unified statistics for your personalized content in one single view only. I will see you in the next video.